Her Majesty, the Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are all expected to attend a reception for world leaders before the summit begins. World leaders will converge for three days from June 11th to 13th to discuss a variety of topics including vaccines, climate change, education and Brexit. Times Royal Editor Roy Anika said, a major royal diplomatic charm offensive will get underway tomorrow as the Queen, the Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge attend the at G7 leaders reception at the Adidine Project in Cornwall hashtag G7. She added, afterwards Prince Charles with Prince William will host at G7 leaders and global CEOs to discuss how the private sector can tackle climate change. The Queen the Duchess of Cornwall and Duchess of Cambridge will attend an event celebrating the big launch, spearheaded by Adidine Project. The Duchess of Cambridge and at Flotus at DR Biden will also get together for a joint engagement on Friday focusing on early childhood. The reception will be held at the Eden Project in a nod to the climate talks set to be discussed at the summit. The announcement of the charm offensive by the royal family follows a meeting between the Prime Minister and US President Joe Biden to discuss Brexit and the Northern Ireland Protocol. Mr. Biden has been vocal over Boris Johnson's handling of the Northern Ireland Protocol. Jake Sullivan, US National Security Advisor, warned the UK's Brexit negotiator, Lord Frost, that he could inflame tensions in Northern Ireland if he does not compromise over border checks. Following the meeting, Emmanuel Macron upset the harmony of the G7 after laying into Mr Johnson's stance on the protocol, claiming he was not serious and warned that nothing is renegotiable. Harry and Meghan gone rogue expert lays into Sussex's amid drift he said, if after six months you say we cannot respect what was negotiated, then that says nothing can be respected. I believe in the power of treaties. I believe in seriousness. Nothing is renegotiable. Everything is applicable. The US president had originally accepted a graceful invitation to meet the Queen at Windsor shortly after the summit before flying to Brussels to attend further meetings with EU leaders. White House Press Secretary, Jen Psaki, said the president was looking forward to seeing her with Dr. Biden as well. Meghan Markle and Harry trying to claw back popularity, reveal William's rage over Charles' indiscretion before father's Lilibet nod, insight royal family live, Meghan shamed by own family in anonymous jab, spotlight, since 1951, the Queen has met 13 US presidents and has attended five state dinners at the White House, more than any other head of state, according to the White House Historical Association.